It's Friday, November 16, 2012. I'm officially back from Kansas, and let's talk about what happened this week at xdadevelopers.com. <laughs> The biggest news this week was all about official releases, but first, a little bit of potentially bad news. Late this week, you might have noticed that CyanogenMod.com became unavailable, completely went offline. As it turns out, CyanogenMod.com is not actually owned by the core members of the CyanogenMod project. It's not owned by Steve, the primary guy who started it. I'm not going to name any specific names, but the story came out from the CyanogenMod team that the person who was behind the website, the person who owned the domain, had taken it hostage and was demanding $10,000 and was scamming people out of money in the name of the CyanogenMod team and using Steve Kondik CyanogenMod's username to scam people out of money. From the other side of the story, it seems that a lot of that might have been hearsay, it might have been blown out of proportion, it might have been joking and sarcasm between the, the members and there may have been yeah, some misunderstandings. One way or another, there was a lot of drama, so much so that Cyanogen Mod was a trending topic on Google Plus for quite a while the other night. But after a little bit of time, CyanogenMod.com was returned to the rightful owners, and instead of having that site available now, it actually redirects to their new domain name, which is owned by the Cyanogen Mod project. That domain name, of course, CyanogenMod.org, which, as they say, fits a little bit better with their actual scheme, or their organization, or actually that fits exactly there, their organization. Anyway, make of that what you will. I've seen both sides of the story and honestly I don't know enough to make a judgment call one way or another, so moving on. In slightly better news related to the CyanogenMod project, I picked up my Galaxy Nexus today. I went through the CyanogenMod update process, which is something I've actually been doing every day for the last oh, month or so, and lo and behold I noticed that CyanogenMod 10 Final is now officially available. Now that said, not every single device that's in the CyanogenMod umbrella has been covered by CyanogenMod 10 Final yet but they are working on it. It is just a matter of time before it happens. Personally, like I said, I've been using CyanogenMod 10 Nightlies for at least a few weeks now, and I have not had a single issue myself, but I'm using the Verizon Galaxy Nexus, so that may be a little bit of a difference there. However, if you have been using CyanogenMod 10 Alphas, Betas, whatever, officially for a while now, you may want to take a look at this updated version, if it is available for your device, just to see if it works for you. I do have to say I'm loving the built-in automatic updater. Don't have to wipe, don't have to reflash or anything, just download a file, hit a button, reboot, and I'm done. Now speaking of updates, the next few stories are all going to be kind of tied in together and all relating to Android 4.2. Over the last few days, images have started rolling out for Android 4.2 for the Galaxy Nexus, the Nexus 7, the Nexus 4, and the Nexus 10. And as of this evening, very late this evening, my device just received Android 4.2 over the air. As you might be able to see, I do have a slightly different lock screen. I've actually got widgets on it that I can scroll between and I can get different ones and things of that nature. I have not used it long enough to really know all of the specifications about it, but it is definitely nice to get this update as soon as it is available. And actually not too long after the official images became available for all of those things, Android 4.2 was released officially to the AOSP. And it looks like there are even binaries out there available for a lot of different devices, including the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. Looking at the developer Google site, not everything though. Nexus 10, Nexus 7, Galaxy Nexus GSM, Galaxy Nexus Verizon, Galaxy Nexus S Crespo does not have it though. Nexus S 4G does not, Motorola Zoom and Panda Board do not either. So not all of the official Nexus devices have received the official proprietary binaries for 4.2 yet, but again, probably just a matter of time. And more importantly, the official 4.2 is out there in the AOSP. That means CyanogenMod can start working on it. That means that AOKP can start working on it. All of the other ROM creation people can start working on it. And we can all start seeing this wonderful 4.2 coming to our devices very, very soon. And actually something that I didn't even notice in reading through that list, Nexus 4 was not on that list. And apparently Nexus 4 is not available in the AOSP tree. So. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if it's something to do with LG specifically, or if it's the device itself, or maybe where it's just not 100% out there yet. It did actually release at this point. There are people receiving shipping confirmations, and there are people that should be receiving devices in the next day or two, so we should know more in the very near future. Anyway, lots of big news related to updates and changes, and of course, official releases there. And the last thing I thought I would mention, a couple of news items from XDA. If you have not seen them already, two other videos were released this week. The first one by Adrianok talking about the truth behind the DMCA changes that have been coming, specifically attempting to dispel the myths and the rumors that you are only legally able to root 
a wireless phone and not a tablet. Definitely a whole lot of BS there, but if you want to know more about it and the specifics, you should really watch Azrianox's video. And from what I saw, TK put out two videos this week talking all about his brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and the S Pen that comes with it. I'm still waiting to get my greedy little hands on one, if for no other reason than to just test it for a few days. But oh well, what are you gonna do? Anyway, that's all from me for today. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on Monday.